Hello and welcome to TBH3. I'm Walter and we're going to start our next project. So I think this is going to be three videos um, and we're going to be making a freeform crochet bag felted. Uh, so you can see here I have started it already. I chained 44. I double crochet, I did a, a double crochet in the third chain from the hook and then one double crochet all the way to the end and then from there I did five double crochets and then I double crocheted on the other side of the chain all the way back and then did five double crochets joined with a slip stitch into the top of the chain and that's our foundation and the bottom of the bag. So when you felt you have to use 100% wool or it won't work so and it needs to be non superwash this yarn I picked up locally at a local yarn shop in Troy um, I however have lost the tag so I'm not sure which farm created this um, this is the zipper that we will be putting in the top of the bag so this bag we will line and put a zipper in it when you're felting with, with a particular yarn or fiber for the first time, it's really a great idea to do a test piece, which I did. I made a little flower, which we'll be using incorporating as part of the bag. Uh, so when I crocheted this flower initially, I used a five millimeter or an H hook with this. And this is like a, a worsted weight, a thin worsted weight, DK weight yarn. Um, so this was three inches. And then if you look at it now, it's slightly over two inches. So it's about a 30% shrinkage rate when we felt it. So when you felt a product, what you're doing is you're adding hot water or you're soaking it in hot water, you're losing a little soap and then you're agitating it. And that agitation causes the fibers to break apart and then kind of reform as a solid mass. Um, and that's what we have here as the felted flower. So for the bag itself, what we're gonna do is make, crochet the bag, we'll felt the bag, and we're gonna do the wet felting method. And for the bag, I'm gonna do that in the washing machine, just because it's gonna be tremendously larger than, you know, what this flower is, and you can hand felt that uh, by using just like a cup of hot water and some soap. And then, so so this week we're gonna make the bag. Next week we will make the flower decorations, the flowers and leaves and what are the other, other decorations that we want to include on the bag. And then the third week we'll assemble it all together. Um, so it, it does take some time to allow the fibers to dry after. And when they're drying, um, and we'll, we'll get to that later in this video is when the bag is finished and felted I like to stuff it with plastic bags so that I can shape it the way I want the bag to look um, We'll be adding handles to it or a strap. I'm not sure which again. This is freeform crochet So it really is whatever kind of What you like or or what you want to do with it? Um, so for the next round so for round two What you want to do is chain three And I forgot to turn the TV off, so I hope you're not hearing that in the background. Uh, chain three and then double crochet in each double crochet across. When you get to the end here, in the third double crochet of that five double crochet group, you're gonna do five double crochets for round two. And then rounds three through 18, you are just going to do one double crochet in each double crochet across and then when we get to round 18 we'll come back and we will talk about how we're going to decrease to help shape the bag. Hello and welcome back. So as I was working on this I realized that one I'm not going to have enough yarn to go to 18 rounds however I'm at 14 rounds right here and I feel like that's a nice depth for a bag. Um, so we're going to start the decrease on round 14 as opposed to round 18. So what I'm doing is I, cro I chain three in the first um, where the join was, as we have been doing all around. I crocheted 45 and then, so this is the, the end of the bag. 
and here we are going to decrease by crocheting the next three or by crocheting the next um, two double crochets together so that's the first decrease and we're going to do that three times that's twice and so it's yarn over insert your hook into the first double crochet pull up a loop pull for the first two loops yarn over insert your hook into the next double crochet pull up a loop and then um, yarn over and pull through the first two loops and now you have three loops yarn over and pull all three loops and that's how you do a double crochet decrease um, actually we're going to do one more so we're going to do four on each end so it's yarn over pull up a loop in the next double crochet yarn over pull up a loop in the next double crochet pull through the first two loops pull through the second two loops and now we have um, done our fourth decrease and then we'll just um, double crochet along the next end and then we'll do four double crochets on the other end four double crochet decreases on the other end and we're going to do that for round 14 round 15 and round 16 so for the next three rounds we're going to decrease four um, stitches on either end of the bag um, and this will help give it that that shape that I like that kind of goes out and then comes back in um, so when I get done with that so again that's 14 15 and 16 um, fingers crossed I have enough yarn to make it to there and then we'll come back with the finished product um, the finished step it's not product yet okay thanks see you soon hello so now I have <clears throat> excuse me did a total of 16 rounds I did the four decreases for round 14, 15, and 16. So on each end, we decreased uh, by four stitches, and it gives this nice kind of curved edge. It kind of mirrors the bottom curve. So the next step is actually to felt this, and I will be machine felting it, which just means I'm gonna be using the washing machine. I have found that using felting larger pieces like this, it's just easier to throw it in the washing machine than to, to do it by hand. Um, the small pieces like the little flower that I did and the flowers that we'll do next week, the flowers and the leaves, um, we'll float those by hand because I could do that right here at the table. So what I'm going to do is put this in the washing machine on the small load, hot water, cool rinse. I'll, you know, throw in some detergent. I'll also be throwing in a pair of jeans um, because what, what helps to felt the wool is the temperature in addition to agitation. So having the jeans in there will help agitate the fabric to you know break down the existing structure and allow it to kind of meld together to make a solid piece. Um, so we'll be doing that uh, next. And then once it's felted, uh, I'll show you how I shape it and that'll be the conclusion of this video. Again, next week we will felt the, the decorations that we're gonna make, which will be flowers and leaves. Um, and then we'll put, th then the third, we'll be putting it all together, which will be adding the handle, putting the zipper on, making the liner, um, attaching the felted decorations to the side of the bag. Again, my idea is that I'm going to do flowers, and leaves kind of for this section here and then maybe the opposite section here on one side of the bag. Um, I also think we're going to make uh, a little change purse. I'll show you how to do that um, and we can do that next week so it's kind of like a bag change purse set. Um, and so uh, with that I'll be back as soon as this is felted. Hello, so I have decided to do the change purse uh, this week so I can wet felt it at the same time as I do the wet felt felting for the main body of the bag. So I just whipped this up. I did use 100% wool. I got this yarn from Knit Picks, and this is Wool of the Andes. It's a sport weight. Again, it's 100% per Peruvian Highland wool. Um, so it's a nice wool. I did a unboxing video with this. It feels nice. It felt really well. 
Um, I made a pen case that I had felted. Uh, let me grab that and show you. This is the pen case I felted. Uh, it's also big enough you could throw in your crochet hooks. I added a little zipper. So this was crocheted, then wet felted, and then this flower design uh, was dry felted or needle felted. This green is some roving, and the blue and the yellow is just some yarn that was 100% wool that I had. Um, and I just dry felted it to the outside of this. It opens up. You know, a nice little perfect size to throw in that, or if you have a pen you want to toss in there. Just a little great kit. So, um, I have felted this wool before. Wet felted it. It came out really nice. I did dye this myself because the wool does come bare, undyed, um, and we'll be dyeing this after. Uh, so this is this is kind of a finished wet felted product. So this is kind of what it looked like before, and this is what it looks like after. So we will be uh, wet felting this. So just to kind of give you a quick overview of how I crocheted this, for the center I did a magic circle or magic loop or magic ring. Uh, I can't remember what they call it. I always call it a magic circle. Uh, 10 double crochets for round one. Round two is two double crochets in each double crochet. Round three was two double crochets, a single crochet, two double crochets, so you're increasing. Round four was two double crochets, a single crochet in the next two double crochets, two double crochet increase around. Um, I was going to do half doubles, which you can see here, but I decided that I didn't want to do half doubles. I was going to do double crochet, so I count this as one double crochet. Uh, then it's just one double crochet in each stitch around. So this is uh, round one, two, three, four. So round five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten are all just one double crochet in the previous double crochet. And then around eleven, I did four double crochets and then a two double crochet decrease, which is uh, just like I showed for the other bag, decrease and then four double crochets, decrease and did that around. So now I'm going to go wet, wet felt these and I'll be back with the finished product. Uh, before that, so this is this is what is going to be the top of the change purse. Um, so the goal is that this is going to felt down enough that we'll be able to sew this on here. Um, and if I did my calculation right, it shouldn't be a problem. It should be slightly larger, uh, but we'll see. This is the fun part about felting and freeform crochet. You kind of just make whatever you have work. And welcome back. So, these are the two pieces after they've been felted. As you can see, they're significantly smaller than they were. Um, so, at this point, what I like to do, while they're still damp from being in the washing machine, is just take some plastic bags and kind of stick them inside and start molding the shape that I want. Because um, when they're when the fiber is still damp from being felted is when you can really kind of shape it the way you want. Um, and you could probably see from this that it's not the same shade of cream that it was. So what happens is that this yarn bleeds a lot and this picked up some of the color, which is okay because we are going to dye this next week so it matches better than, than it currently does to kind of make it a set. Um, so I like to do that, make sure the bottom's flat. And then I just put two bags in, make sure the bottom's relatively flat, hold it upside down, and I'll leave it like that for a couple of days to dry. So this is the, the bag itself, that was the change purse. And if we take the zipper and hold it along the top, we can see that's probably this, from here to here is 10 inches. I would say this is another two, four. So this is about 14 inches wide, which is okay. Um, Cause when I add the zipper, I'll just stitch the top of this closed um, and it'll, it'll work out. Again, it's a free form bag, so it's all good. It did shrink more top to bottom than side to side. Um, again, that's okay. I, ha I like this this like curvy shape here. Um, I am going to put some plastic in this too. Uh, 
sew that. And I just kind of shove the bags in. And then after I shove the bags in, I like to see how it cur curves underneath here like this. That I don't really want. So I'm just gonna work on stretching that out. Can I get straight, kind of pull it and tug it until you get the shape that you want. And that's how you shape your bag and you do it while it's still wet. There. Um, and that's it for this week. So we have our felted body of our bag completed and the felted body of our change purse completed. And next week we're going to work on the flowers and dyeing this to match and then the flowers and the leaves and the um, motifs that we'll be adding to the bag. Um, and then uh, the third week we'll be putting it all together. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them below. Questions, comments, uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe, put on the notification bell. If there's somebody who you know who's interested in learning how to do freeform crochet and or felting, please let them know. I think that um, personally this, this yarn in the colorway that it, it was is really great. Um, it kind of reminds me of, uh, again, a sunset, but it's kind of not like a watercolor sunset, how it goes. So, so yeah. So you could either use the wool that's already been dyed, or as I did in this case, I will be dyeing the wool um, to the colors that I want. So again, uh, tune in next week for the part two of this project and make it a great week. Remember, always keep hooking.